Good morning, huddled masses. The sidewalks in front of the school are being poured again today. The administration kindly requests that whoever made those lasting impressions yesterday, please don't do it again. Student council meets today in room 123. Anyone interested in impeaching the president is invited to attend. Have a nice day. No, I'm the editor-in-chief, and I say no. Come on, Nikki, get off the editor-in-chief garbage. I don't have time for this, Ted. I'll talk to you about these I headlines. said a 26-point headline. No, you didn't. You said 46. I did. We talked enough. Now is a 46 going to fit. Nikki, give me a break. You're asking a full-page ad. Because it's cheap and tasteless. So? Where's your story, Jesse? Oh, let's go there. Why don't you take yeah. a typing class? I did. Well, take it again, and next time, pass it. Mr. Prescott, you're in. Sure, yeah. All right, I'll hold it. Mr. Prescott. What is so tasteless about a group of young adults enjoying a deep dish garoli pizza? Why are they in a hot pot? It's simply to show that a garoli pizza can be enjoyed anywhere. You're using sex to sell pizza. No, I'm not. Look, look, the lab place of pepperoni and the Canadian bacon here and there removes any suggestion of sex. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. There's no reason for them to be in a hot pot. Look, Nikki is the editor. Why don't you talk to her about it? I said a 12 point subhead and a 26 point Nikki, headline. You it's said not that 46. Difficult. Elena, read my lips. 26 points. You point. said that the first time I asked. Yeah. It's okay for me to use a dark room? Are you on staff? Uh-uh. You're talking Godzilla there. And good luck. What are you doing, Tunnel? Okay, look. What if I put a half a dozen more Canadian bacon... He was in charge, didn't he? Okay, I'm gonna be straight with you. Mr. Grolian never saw the value of advertising in a high school newspaper. My ad changed his mind. Nikki! Mr. Grolian is a dirty old man. Now, you just wait a minute. You're talking about my uncle. I don't care. No ad. Elwood, marbles is not is a sport. I made you sports editor. Can't manager. you come up with something more exciting than that? Come on, people. Jesse, how's that story doing? Well, that's my problem. Oh, we've got a dispute. deadline to meet here. I'm no longer being advised. Okay, who's asked this? I'd be a decision maker. More than and I'd be invading Nikki's space. Oh, you've had disputes before. Nikki, you solved much bigger problems than this. What I'm saying is, I think we should find the best possible working compromise. Excuse me, but I've got to run. Hey, no pictures. Well, Nikki? 86, the ad total. So compromise. <laughs> Let's move it, people. I said out of here. No, the ad as is goes in. No, it doesn't, Tuttle. OK, then find yourself another ad manager. Fine. Jesse, you're ad manager. I don't want to be ad manager. But well, you're definitely not a reporter. You know what? You're dumping in Jess. Because he's as incompetent as you are. I said cut that out. People, get back to work. I said out of here. Okay. Elena, I'm going to prove you we never had a 46-point headline. You used a 46 yesterday. Hiya, people, we've loafed around enough here, OK? It's time we got our act together. Oh, Nikki, it'll just take me a second to get out of your life, OK? Bye-bye. I'm the editor in chief of this paper. That means I'm in charge. If that bothers any of you people, you know we're the door. Yeah. Well, there she was. She was walking down the street, singing do I did it, did it, dum, did it, dum. She's so rude, so rude, so unkind, unkind, and she really lost her mind. Dog Nikki, three, four, say, dog Nikki, three, say, dog Nikki, three, four. We won't take it anymore. Myself, Ernie. Oh, come on. Thank you, thank you. There's an awful lot of love out there. Nikki. Nikki. As your advisor, I'm advising you to mend some fences. What'd I do? Well, you rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Look, Mr. Prescott, I, I didn't take this job to be the most popular girl in school. I took it because I thought I could make the Bugler into a pretty good newspaper. I understand that, but you can't treat people like they're machines, Nikki. They have feelings, dreams, sensitivities of their own. Well, I can't deal with those when I'm trying to get out of paper. But Nikki... That's why you don't have a staff right now. Well, I'll get another one. Come in, take a seat. OK. You've got four days to put out a newspaper. 
That's not an awful lot of time. Think about it, Nikki. Didn't I throw you out of here yesterday? Yeah. What's your name? Luigi. Luigi. Italian. E paesano. Uh, Luigi McNeil. Right. So, as you know, we're trying to restaff the bugler. We're looking for experienced people. Have you had any journalism classes? No. Sound like a good candidate for sports editor. Well, I don't really want to be on the newspaper. Knock it off. Can I use the dark one? It's for staff only. Yeah, but I figured with no staff, it might be available. Look, I asked you to stop taking pictures. Okay. Wait a minute. Do you really know your way around a dark room? Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, either you do or you don't. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I bothered you. Why don't, why don't you join the staff? I'll give you full access to the dark room. Can I take your picture? Waste your film. Think about it. Is my reputation really that bad? They call you Godzilla. They call me a lot of things. You said I could have full use of the dark room? No, you'd have to get out when the photo editor needs to use it. Does he need it a lot? I don't know. Position's open. You interested? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Why not? It's not gonna be easy, McNeil. It's gonna be long hours and bugle photos before anything else. <laughs> Hey, listen, you're discouragement enough, okay? Thanks a lot. Wait, wait, wait. Look, I didn't mean it. Yes, you did. Listen. Why don't we just turn out a newspaper, huh? Good idea.
no. Luigi! Luigi, who told you you could oh. lay out the front page? Will you close the door? Sorry. You know, you really should not before you come in here. Luigi, you can't lay out a front page like this. The headline is too big, and you can't put a big picture like that in the middle of the page. Oh, come on, why not? This is great. Because I said so. What kind of reason is that? Can you think of a better one? Don't open that door. The printers are going to be here in an hour. I have to redesign the front page. Look, you're not going to have any pictures if you open that door. How long am I going to have to wait in here? Just give me a couple minutes, and I'll have them in the fix, OK? Well, even though you think I screwed up, I think it looks pretty good. Why are there so many pictures of me? Look, you said after I got shots for the newspaper, I could do whatever I wanted to do, right? Luigi, I don't care what pictures you shoot. I just want to know why there's so many of me. Look, I'm sorry I bothered you. You were asleep, and I thought I'd do you a favor. It's OK. OK, you can leave now. Are you mad at me? What difference does it make? It doesn't. I just wanted to know. Oh, well, maybe that's why I'm mad. Luigi, what do you want from me? I don't know. Maybe just a little honesty. Hey, I'm just about as honest as they get. <laughs> Says you. Look, I know who I am. Oh, do you? Yes. Well, why don't you tell me then? Who are you? I'm not the prettiest girl in school. I'm not the best dresser. Obviously not the most popular. But I, I'm efficient. I'm a good worker. I get the job done. And when people see me on the street, they say, Nikki, you did a good job. And apart from that? What? What is there apart from that? Did you take a look at these pictures? Do you see the confusion in this shot? Here, take it. Do you see the anger in this one? Do you see the joy here? That's not Nikki Pick. Well, these sure as hell aren't pictures of the football team, are they? I'm not interested in these. I don't even know why you took these in the first place. I took them because I like Nikki Pick. I like the sad Nikki Peck. I like the silly Nikki Peck. I like the I like the concerned Nikki Peck. I like the quiet Nikki Peck. I, I like the angry Nikki Peck. Well, I don't like this one. I like the one who's in charge. The one who knows what she wants and how to get it. You're missing the best part. Don't you see that? You're missing the laughing and the crying and sharing all that stuff inside. You know, you put it out there, you're going to get hurt. Yeah, I, I guess it does hurt sometimes. Here. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can either. But you know, the thing I like about you, Nikki, is I know you've got it. I see something inside of you that's just like me. And I like me. Yeah, well, I like you, too. Okay. 
I got some great shots to cheer you for next week. Next week? Where are you going? Student Council Review Board. Ernie Tuttle has filed a petition to have me canned as editor. Why? You got the paper out? Let's not kid ourselves. We missed a couple of major stories. Like what? Like Tuttle filing a petition to have me canned. Give me liberty or give me death. I came as soon as that class was over. Sounds like the Spanish Inquisition in here. If it means anything, I think you two did a terrific job. Please. All right, I think we've heard enough from the bugler staff. Before we pass any final judgment, I'd like to ask Nikki if she has anything she'd like to say. Look. Just be Nikki Peck. We have a critique for uh, every issue of The Bugler. This is no exception. We had a double tombstone on page one and a couple of gutters, but it wasn't a bad newspaper. It wasn't the best, either. Luigi and I must have spent 50 hours this week getting this paper out. He did it because he loves it. I love it, too. I'm good at it. This isn't what I wanted to say. I, uh, I guess all I wanted to say is this was a really incredible week for me. I learned that two people can put out a newspaper if they work 16 hours a day and do nothing else. But it's no fun working without a staff. I, I think what it's most important is I, I I learn something about what it takes to be a good editor, a really good editor. It takes uh, being a good human being, and I haven't been that. It, it, it takes uh, being attuned in to what you're feeling and being sensitive to what people around you are feeling, what they want and, and who they are. You know, if, if it's nothing but a, a pat on the back and a thank you once in a while. You know how we're all trying to be super people? I mean, I'm tempted to do that, and I, I, I think it's because uh, we're trying to cover up those parts of ourselves that we're not proud of. It, that's dishonest, and deep down, I know it. It's really hard to admit when you're wrong, and, uh, or apologize when you've hurt somebody. But it's even harder to admit you need people, to accept you for who you are and understand your weaknesses. I think I could be a really good editor. You know, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been a good human being. I really think I can make that work. Yeah. Yeah, we're tasteful, right? 
Yeah, tasteful, absolutely, no problem. What is that? Check it out. The AV department put me in charge of the living yearbook. Okay, Madame Editor, what do you see in the future for Buchanan Bugle? I see a dead photographer if he doesn't get me pictures of the band rehearsal in two minutes. All right, all right, all right. I'll have him on your desk by 5 o'clock. No problem, okay? I'll take care of it. Thank you. Raincoats? Yeah. Tasteful, please. <laughs> Come on, people, deadlines in one hour.